Shalom, Yasharala, Shalom. Call Alayim, Allah Hayanawa, Yahawa, Baha Hashem, Yawashai, Baha Hashem, Rakaha Kordash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Ak with listening, listening and learning, Shalom. It's your brother Shaman from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. Here with another lesson. And I will get right into it through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. So from the scripture in the book of John. This is the book of John chapter 4. John chapter 4, verse 22, and it reads, Ye worship ye know not what, right? And it's red letter, red letter, our Lord speaking, right? Ye worship ye know not what, right? You, you heathen nations out here, right? Two-thirds of our people out here, they don't know what they worship. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, right? Us in this truth, right? The hope for the elect. We know what we worship. Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. Right? Salvation is of the Jews, Israel and Israel only. Who are Israelites? Israel being a people before a place. So-called indigenous, so-called Latino, so-called Negro. So we're going to watch this clip here. The title, this came out today, April 21st, 2021. MSNB analyst, if so-called Jeebus were alive today, he would be called a groomer, right? These Edomites, they don't know what they worship. The truth is, there are people, they don't know what they worship, right? Because if they knew what they worship, an almighty power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, they know he's a terrible power. They wouldn't dare, they wouldn't dare utter this sentence and attach it to Yahweh Shem Yahushai's name. So they don't know what they worship. We'll watch this clip, read a little bit of the Lord when we attach some scripture. Did it over the Easter holidays. And the Easter holidays, the entire message of the Gospels of the Easter holidays was love one another. And I have said this before, and I'll say it again. If Jesus Christ was alive... See, that's wrong. He said the entire message of the, of the Gospel of the Easter holidays, so-called Easter, so-called Gospel, is love one another. Their their so called gospel. Their so called the the Easter Easter is a a a, a, a a fertility. We'll get that next word willing, right? It's 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 in honor of a fertility goddess, man. It's not scriptural. Actually, should be right here. Let's check it out. Easter. Old English from Austria. Proto Germanic, Austron meaning dawn, also the name of a goddess of fertility and spring. Perhaps originally of sunrise, whose feast was celebrated 
at the spring equinox, ost, ost, ost meaning east, to where the sunrise. Right, the celebration, the celebration of a goddess of fertility. That's the origins of Easter. Right. Let's look at the word Easter. See now, Acts chapter what, thirteen, fourteen, Acts twelve, and it reads. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to, to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people, right? And this was the arresting of uh, Peter, right? But we're going to look into the word of uh, Easter. Pascha. Okay, we're going to come back to it. We're going to finish this video clip and then we're going to come back to it. Right, these, 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 these pagan, these, these, these wacky tacky, Edomite, so-called Christian, Edomite Christians don't know what they're talking about, and and it's a stumbling block for Jake out there, right? Because two thirds of our people, Israel, who are who are Israelites, right, are 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 drunk and eat what this what, what this guy's saying. Live today, they did it over the Easter holidays. And the Easter holidays, the entire message of the Gospels of the Easter holidays was love one another. And I have said this before, and I'll say it again. If Jesus Christ was alive today, he would be called a groomer, he would be called woke, and he would be called a socialist if he was alive today. If he was speaking the message he spoke in the Gospels today about treating. Look at Eve nodding her head. In agreement, right? Esau's henchman, Eve, called a socialist. If he was alive today, if he was speaking the message he spoke in the Gospels today about treating everybody with dignity, Jesus Christ hung around with prostitutes and tax collectors. He was nailed to a cross because he spoke on behalf of the most marginalized people in the Middle East. And the idea that certain segment of our population has tried to capture the faith and corrupt a message that I may have been a follower of since I was baptized and went, was confirmed and served on the altar in the course of this is something I think all of us, it's not just people of faith, but all of us. Kind. And, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai, right? Publicans and sinners. Right. Those publicans and sinners were Israelites who didn't know who they are, didn't know who they were. Right? Let's get that. Let's get the meaning of that scripture. Matthew chapter 9, verse 10. Matthew chapter 9, verse 9. And how wish I passed from thence. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass as how wish I sat at meat in the house. Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Yahawashai heard that, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician, right? Those that behold, those that know this truth, they don't need a physician. But they that are sick, right? They that are sick, scriptures say, uh, Is it Isaiah? Isaiah 1, whole head is sick.
to, I was right there. I didn't see it. Isaiah 1 verse 5. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye were revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Right. Israelites. They're sick. Not knowing who they are. Not knowing this truth. Immersed in, 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 in the wine of Babylon. Right? And the whole heart is faint. The mind. The mind is faint. The mind is plagued. Okay? Right? Scriptures say, uh, Shai was saying, those that are whole need not a physician. Who is a physician? Shai. Alright? Shai came for the lost sheep of Israel. Right? Matthew 9 verse 12 once again. But when Shai heard that, he said unto them, they that behold need not a they that behold need a need not a physician, but they that are sick, right? Israelites, right? Dead from the de de spiritually dead Israelites, lost sheep, right? Matthew five. Right, wacky tacky, wacky tacky, Edomite preachers, pastors, wacky tacky, bishop sausage, they don't know what they're talking about. Matthew chapter 5. Where is the Matthew 15? Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, red letter. But he answered and said, Yahweh I speaking, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Lost sheep, those that are sick. Dispersed among the Gentiles. It's in uh, John 7. John chapter 7, I believe. John chapter 7, verse 35. And it reads, Then said the Jews among themselves, Matter of fact, let's read verse 34. Verse 33. John 7, verse 33. Then said Yahweh unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me, returning to his father. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me. And where I am thither, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, right, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, among themselves, whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Where is he going, that we're not going to be able to find him? Will he go unto the dispersed, dispersed, meaning diaspora, dispersed among the Gentiles, the heathen nations, and teach the Gentiles? Israelite foreigners, right? This Gentiles right here is the heathen nations. This Gentiles right here is Israelite foreigners. It's why Wacky Tacky don't know nothing about these scriptures, man. Dispersed among the Gentiles, right? The diaspora, the scattering of who? The 12 tribes of Israel. Diaspora. Strong's G1290. Diaspora. Diaspora. A scattering, dispersion of Israelites, Israel being a people before a place, dispersed among foreign nations, among all other nations, among these heathen nations. Right? Of the Christians, Christians were first called Christians in Antioch, right? Who were who were Israelites, followers of Hamashiach, scattered abroad. Scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth among the Gentiles, heathen nations. Right? So these wacky tacky, when they when they come with their with, with their BS, right? But what I wanted to go into was some of the uh the entire message of the gospels of the Easter. Oh yeah, Easter. 
Let's look at this word Easter, Pascha. Feed the sheep, edify, you know? Got two or three people out here walking deaf and blind, dead from the from, from the head up. Right, we make our videos for the elect. We do these epistles for the elect. Right? Got two thirds won't get it no matter what. But the elect will hear this and understand and and, and return to their power. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Pascha. Strong's G thirty nine fifty seven. Pascha. Pascha. Right? The Pascal sacrifice, which was accustomed to be offered for the people's de deliverance of old from Egypt, the Israelites being delivered from Egypt, the house of bondage, Mizraim. The Paschal lamb example, the lamb the Israelites were accustomed to slay and eat on the 14th day of the month of Nisan, Abib, here it's Nisan, but it's Abib, the first month of the year, in memory of the day on which their fathers, preparing to depart from Egypt, were bidden by the Most High to slay and eat a lamb and to sprinkle their doorposts with its blood, that the destroying angel, which was Yahweh Shai, seeing the blood, might pass over their dwellings. Might pass over their dwellings. Hamashiach crucified is likened to the slain Pascal lamb, the Pascal supper, the Pascal feast. Right, Pascal means Passover. The feast of the Passover. Right? So these, these, these wicked... Wicked, right? And Jake will hear this and eat it up. You saw that Eve woman nodding her head, nodding her head, <laughs> and not knowing what she's nodding her head to, man. Right? So this word Easter is a fertility goddess. It, it's it's its root is from Austre, a, a, a fertility goddess, man. Or it had nothing to do with the. It had nothing to do with the 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 the. the it has nothing to do with the the, the Passover. Exodus twelve, verse one. And Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron, in the land of Egypt, saying, right in the title of the Passover lamb, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Abib, speak ye unto the, all the congregation of Israel, Yashirala, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house, according to the house of their fathers. Let's, let's go down. Verse 12, Exodus 12, verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, the death angel, the angel of death, who was Yahweh Shai, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh. And the blood shall be to, be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to slack, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt. Right. So what is this wacky tacky? The entire message of the Gospels of the Easter holidays was to love one another. Off. Go suck yourself. Right. And Jake will hear this and run with it. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, verse. Matthew 26, verse 18, it reads, And he said, Yahweh Shai, red letter, Go into the city to such a man and say unto him, The master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Yahweh Shai had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. 
Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve, the twelve disciples. Amen. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. Right. So this was the last supper, man. Jump down to verse 26. And as they were eating, Yahweh took bread and blessed it and take and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Shed for who? Israelites. Right? Let's get something here. Let's get a... Uh, I just want to line them up before I forget. Isaiah 45, verse 17. Um, Acts 5. Acts 5. Verse 31. 2 well, 2 Before it sips on mine, you know? 2 well, 2 Alright, and this is what the Spirit is The Spirit's pushing us in this direction, you know? 2 well, 2 verse 27 Alright Right Remission of sins for who? Israelites I wanted to get something from this article Okay? The entire message of the gospel of the Easter holiday was to love one another. We, ju we, just, we just cut that. Okay? It was in remembrance of the delivery from Egypt. And it's in remembrance of the crucifixion of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And I've said this before. And Yahweh Shai was keeping the Passover. Remembering the deliverance from Egypt. If Yahweh Shai was alive today, he would be called a groom. Right. We, we cut that. This, guy, this guy don't know. This guy don't know what he's talking about. But I wanted to get this here. Some of the uh, remarks. May God, may God have mercy on our souls with this guy. I wish I didn't hang around prostitutes and tax collectors. What he did do is spend time to teach sinners, Israelites, that through him, through that that through him, through repentance, they could be saved. Right? We read the scripture, Matthew nine. Right? He's go, he, the physician. Uh, those that are whole don't need a physician. Yahweh Shai is a physician. But uh, where is it? Right here. They could be saved and live an eternal life with him. Love the sinner, but hate the sin. Yeah, this this woman here is going off too, man. Right, because the most high, the most high is not dealing with none of that. Second Ezra twelve. Right, but he be called woke. Right, scriptures say he's like his father. Did a lesson on that a few days ago. Second Ezra twelve, Salakia. I'm, I'm getting excited, Salak. Sirach twelve, verse six. And it reads, for the most high, right, Yahweh. Hateth sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against that mighty day of their punishment. Right. So the Mosai is not dealing with well, what did she say here? Love the sinner but hated the sin. Go suck on herself. Right? These people don't know the scriptures, man. Right, and what is sin? Transgression of the law. First John three, right? Wacky. If you know the script, if you, you you understand the scriptures. You know that the Mosai, the Mosai and his son are not going to be uh, uh, followers of, of 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 this alphabet agenda. 
what, what this, which is what all of this boils down to. This whole word, this whole word woke. It's what all this boils down to, right? Woke, groomer of children. This is all. This all boils down to uh, uh, the woke agenda in schools, man. Right. Right. Having having a uh, 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 washrooms that are that are. Uh, 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 have uh, have have identity prefixes prefixes attached to them. That's what this is about. Gotta watch our words, cause he's these wicked the the clip channels, man. If you speak out against it, First John three verse four: Whosoever committeth sin, right? What is sin? Transgresseth also the law. What is transgression? Transgression means to break the law. For sin is the transgression of the law, and only the Israelites fall under the law. Right, Leviticus. Leviticus eighteen, verse one, and it reads, "And the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, Yasharala, sons of Israel, and say unto them, right, the children of Israel, Israel being a people before a place, I am Yahweh your power." After the doings of the land of Egypt, Mizraim, the bondage that they that 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 our forefathers were coming out from, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do right? Because all kind of abominations were taking place in the land of Egypt, ancient Egypt, and America today, Babylon the Great, America the Great is known as spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, Revelations eleven verse eight, right? And after the doings of the land of Canaan, those Hamites. Whither I bring you, Canaan became later, later known as Israel, the land of Israel, right? Shall ye not do, neither shall ye walk in their ordin ordinances, right? And that's what this whole, that's what this whole thing is. These are, th th this whole woke thing is a ways of, 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 of Egypt, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, right? The Lord's, the Lord's straight telling us, Israelites, the children of Israel, not to partake of these things. Right? Wisdom of Solomon. All kind of precepts are jumping in my head. Wisdom of Solomon. Is it 14? Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto Yahweh. Right? So the ungodly and the ungodliness hate the Most High Yahweh Shem Yoshai. So doesn't it say in uh, Psalms 139? Right? So the Most High is not dealing with... with, 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 with. The Most High hates the, sinner, the sinners. Psalms 139. And this is King David. Psalms 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, Yahweh, that hate thee? Right? Who hates Yahweh but Shimei Shai? This whole wicked, wicked society isn't contrary to Yahweh but Shimei Shai. They hate the Lord Yahweh but Shimei Shai. And am I not grieve with those that rise up against thee? Verse 22. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Right? The Most High Yahweh Shimei Shai is not dealing with them. This is King David speaking. Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 26, and it reads, Disquieting of good men. And this is what the Canaanites, the Hamites, were doing in the land of Canaan. Right? We read in Le Leviticus 18, verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, that we're not to do of the things that they're doing. Roughly paraphrasing. This is what they were doing. Wisdom of Solomon 14, verse 26. Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind, changing of kind. That's what this whole woke, woke, woke culture is about. Right? To sit there and call, well, you know, we open with the scripture, ye know not what ye worship. Right? So this is an idol that they worship. Right? But our power, Yahweh Shem is not dealing with none of this, man. Right? Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, 
changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanness. Right? This is what was going on. This is what these Hamites were doing. Second Peter. Second Peter three. Second Peter three verse seven, and it reads, "Salak, excuse me for a minute." Uh, 2 Peter 3, verse 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire. Right? Reserved unto fire. And how is that fire going to come? The missiles. In tandem with the laser beams from the chariots. But the world, it may cause you a foes. Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Ungodly men. Right? So the Mosai is not dealing with this whole woke. But yeah, I'm going to close out. Right here, she said, they could be saved and live in eternal life with him. Once again, these wacky tacky, right? Yahweh only came for the children of Israel. Isaiah 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yahweh. Right? Israel. Not Moab, not Ammon, not Edom, not Ishmael, Israel. With an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end, the world of Israel. Acts 5 verse 30. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him, Yahweh Shai, hath the Most High, his father, Yahweh, exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Joel 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The midst of Israel. Israel being a people before a place. Right back here. Acts 5 verse 31. Repentance to Israel. Israel being a people before a place. And forgiveness of sins. Nobody else. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, Israel being a people before a place, and that I am Yahweh your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Right? So yeah, I, I, I just yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, man. These these wacky tacky woke. Right, lake of fire for the whole of them. Say pray it up, pray it out ceasing. Come Yasharala, wa abad, baba, shalawam.